Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Fish Keeping Jamaica. Today I will be talking about uh, bulkheads and plumbing. Stay tuned. I have over 17 ponds. And all ponds in which I have are connected with exception for the 250 gallon, right? Totes. Uh, they are con connected by virtue of a half inch pipe now uh this half inch pipe uh pipe is th this one this half inch pipe is what actually takes the water away from the pond and carries and carries it into the rest of the yard right this pipe is what used to be the inflow in which water would flow in it and this pipe is what uh is regarded as the overflow today i'll be speaking to you with regards to a bulkhead right uh, talking about bulkheads now, this is a bulkhead in which i use pipe to be screwed in and it also has and also has washer so what so the bulkhead is actually used in jumps containers with you know cylindrical shape it is used to plug or should i say used to insert in holes which will automatically be whatever is in it will be channeled elsewhere so on my large thousand gallon uh water storage container on my house top one and a quarter inch or something like that right in thickness and then now that pipe a pipe will be actually screwed in it like this and it will lead down into the main wherein it, it automatically feeds into the house should in case any water have actually like for example, the flow of water in the house from the main have actually stopped right so a power head to me works better than union seal and I, let me explain the reason why a power head is more firm sturdy and it is less prone to uh give problems should in case you intend to shift move adjust your container at any given time now the other day i moved one of my jumps i shift them over because i'm trying to get them level so that uh the the overflow pipe that is at the the top here the overflow pipe that is on the top here will actually um be able to remove the excess water as rainfall um do occur and the, the pond actually be filled with water so therefore i adjusted it i mean after adjusting it i realized that there was a leak now when realizing that there was a leak what i needed to do what i did was to take my adjustable wrench and i actually just um managed to mechanical turn on one of these and voila the the leakage stop with a union seal the angle in which the the angle in which the pipe actually um connects to the union seal have to be at such that there is no i call it no it's not lean it is straight or else union seal will leak because the connection is not all that firm as a bulkhead now i realize a problem with my plumbing right um being in the hobby of fish keeping you know that you're gonna have to do some do-it-yourself diy right because it's gonna be expensive trying to get somebody to do everything for you so therefore i have um done the plumbing work for my my, my pants and in doing so i realized an issue what i did was to use half inch pipe to actually take the water from the pond there's nothing wrong with that but what i did wrong was to connect the pipe that is coming from the pond to another half inch pipe going out into the rest of the yard what i should have done was to use a two inch pipe a little thicker pipe here so as to allow the water to free flow um into the yard why if i should choose to let's say turn on turn turn off turn on the pipe for this pond to release water 
uh, and this one to be least water what what i what i find is that the, the pressure in this will be so much that instead of all the water existing that way the pan that is least with water right will actually get water from the pan that has a lot so therefore while this is ex while this is uh, releasing this is releasing also but this water will um eventually go into this while some still go into the yard so this 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 pipe should be a little bit bigger which should allow the water to flow freely without any tightness being in this pipe so that the uh both both ponds would actually release the same amount of water in a large amount of space thus the the the, the, the pond with the least wouldn't be affected i hope you understand what i'm saying so Borkel, I, I use to connect my 55 gallon uh pan slash drum together it is as a result of this sturdy firm mechanism that my 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 drums just don't leak water i do not water i do not lose water as a result of these uh, bulkhead leaking uh, based on and this is an assumption if anybody have any other opinions they can share but based on my uh, assumption and my readings uh, union seal probably would not work here because sometimes I have to like um, twist or push or pull these drum uh, they might be in line but because you know as you can see at the front some of the time dirt do slip as a result of heavy rainfall so therefore i need to push them over fit them on the block or whatever so this constant moving works better for me than than union seal union seal would have created a, a problem right uh so with the bulkhead nicely attached to the the pond what you find is that the water will not escape the pan that easily even if you shift it or you turn the pan it might have a slight leap due to the unevenness of the rubber but you can just simply correct that by taking your adjustable wrench and tightening it a little bit right what i did uh, a few months ago was to use silicone and female and male uh, i think it's what three quarter inch uh, pvc fitted right whilst this do work but it really look untidy and i've seen where in some of the the ponds with this attachment um some amount of leakage occur at the side although this is an overflow um mechanism i really like the firmness so if i shift this a little bit if i shift this a little bit right I, I i am not running the risk of it actually pulling out however i have to be mindful that uh this might be you know detached from here uh as a result of uh not being all that firm here i use um tangent to actually um seal it but this tangent as you can see has flaked out and it's just not working properly right so it it, it yes bulkheads are expensive there's no two ways about that they are expensive right and and that's one of the reasons why i ended up using the male and female three quarter inch um pvc pipe fittings because it was just too much money to actually get 17 of those placed in and you know it, it was just crazy that is like probably about what i would say about seven dollars a one us right okay so that's it with my inflow and my outflow my connectivity uh in the next few months probably one of my major projects is to actually change out the half inch pipe that actually carries the water into the back of my yard and probably place a two inch or a three inch pipe there which will make it a little bit more easier for the water to flow so therefore the water when flowing from two or three jumps will not flow into each other but it will straight exactly into the yard right i hope that this video really helped in your understanding the dynamics of connecting jumps together right which is really uh good uh fittings in it one can use so as to manage their 
drums and you don't have to use this for, for uh, like the purpose in which i'm using it once it is a drum once it is cylindrical shape you can use a bulkhead so as to get that hole actually sealed covered and it can be piped or uh, whatever in it can be tra transported to or directed to elsewhere right bulkheads come in many sizes it comes with two washer and to me bulkhead works better than union seals some persons might say that union seals is easy to just pop in there's no need for any um screw or whatever you can just place in the the, the union seals in it and then just push the pipe in it and it automatically seals itself but the problem i have had and i have researched is that sometimes these union seals actually when shift it doesn't hold out well and water escape and it causes a mess this is really here for fish keeping jamaica do have a wonderful day bye bye for now see you next time